I quickly want to go over bubble and dew point on a manifold gauge set. Now, R4 tonight is a refrigerant that we're very used to working with. It is a blend, but it does have the same saturated temperature on both sides, the vapor side for the evaporator and the liquid side for the condenser. Now, this is a blend and it's considered near azeotropic, so the refrigerant uh, acts the very similarly. It's like 0.3 degrees different, so we just kind of consider it the same uh, for the uh, saturated temperature in the condenser versus the saturated temperature in the evaporator. Now, what I want to show you is not all refrigerants are like that, that are blends. So R454B is a new refrigerant that we're working with, and that one has a, a temperature glide, and it's considered zeotropic. Now, it's only in this instance at zero PSI converted to the bubble point saturated temperature. It's, uh, say, 1.8 degrees difference than the pressure converted to the uh, dew point saturated temperature. Let me show you another uh, refrigerant which is R407C, and that is very zeotropic. And so on this one, you see the pressure converted to, to the dew point saturated temperature is negative 33.7, and that is around, say, say 13 degrees or so different than on the uh, condenser side to the high pressure side. So when you convert the pressure to the bubble point saturated temperature, and so it's a big difference. It's a big deal to make sure that you have your uh, uh, accurate saturated temperatures for in your condenser prior to subcoing and in your evaporator prior to superheating. So remember, your dew point is in the evaporator prior to superheating and your bubble point is in your condenser prior to subcooling.